Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial. Today we are going to use how we can use securely Miro protocol decentralized finance app on Terra chain, Terra ecosystem with a ledger device. We're gonna level up our security. If you have a significant amount of crypto in Terra station, in Terra ecosystem, you might consider in Miro protocol, you have, not might consider, you have to watch how to a wallet ledger device and today we're going to learn how to do it. So watch this video till the end. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and click the notification button. So any time I post DeFi tutorials, DeFi interesting videos, you can watch them as soon as possible and learn with me about this amazing thing that's called DeFi, Miro protocol, pancake swap, and a lot of other things. And if you like my content, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and help my channel grow so more and more people can watch and enjoy my content. Now, I'm assuming that you already know what Miro protocol is, you already have a Terra Station wallet and you know how it works and now, and you also bought a ledger and you set it up. If you did, don't have a ledger or you don't know what it is, check out my other tutorials about ledger, Nano Ace, Nano X and consider using my affiliate link in order to purchase a ledger and again, to help me, I will get a small commission and it will help, it will help me to scale up my channel and create more great content for you guys. And so if if you like my content and you want to support me, consider using the affiliate link to get the ledger in the description below. And in that case, I'm assuming you already have a ledger, you set it up and now you want to connect it to your Terra Station wallet in order to use Miro in a more secured way. And the first thing that you will have to do is download an app called Ledger Live. This app is actually the manager of your ledger device. Using the app, you can upgrade your firmware of the ledger, manage your resources, install application inside the ledger itself, and we will have to use this app in order to install the Terra station, the Terra application on the ledger. So you can download it. You can download it for Mac, for Windows, for uh, Unix, for Linux. I have MacBook, so I downloaded the Mac version. And this is how it looks like. This is the Ledger Live application in MacBook. It looks the same on Windows. And here on the left side, you can see the manager. You have to go and click on manager. And this is where you manage your ledger, your actual ledger. You can see the ledger name. You can see the firmware that it's up to date. The recent, I updated my firmware. If you, need, if you have recent updates, you can click here and update your ledger device so it will be more and more secure and more with more features and here you can see the app catalog and all the apps that are already installed in your ledger you're gonna search here for Terra and once you find Terra you click here install and now it actually installed the Terra app on the ledger itself you will need to do it in order to communicate with Miro protocol and you can see now it's loading this will help the ledger device to sign and smart and sign transaction and send transactions to smart contracts inside the Terra ecosystem. Once it's done, you can see that you have this kind of new app. You can navigate with this kind of two buttons and now we have a new app of Terra Station. We're gonna close the Ledger Live app on the computer and open the, the Terra app inside the ledger. Now the app is open and the Terra is ready. Make sure to close the Ledger Live app because if you won't do so, uh, the Chrome browser will not be able to get access to the Ledger because the Ledger Live app is actually controlling the device. So you have to close the app and now the next thing we're going to do is download Terra Wallet extension for Chrome. So I will put a link in the description below, but if you want, you can just search it in Google and this is the first result. Make sure you are on the right extension because there are a lot of scam. Make sure that it has a lot of reviews and a lot of users and it's the right extension. And I click add to Chrome in order to install the Terra wallet into my Chrome browser. Once done, I'm supposed to see here, this kind of new icon, the Terra station has been added to Chrome and I will click here and pin it so it will always stay here. Now it's pinned. And now what you're going to do is click here on your Terra wallet and click access with Ledger. Now you are basically connecting your Ledger device to the Terra station. You are signing the transactions in the Ledger and then through this kind of USB cable, the transaction already signed is going to the Terra station extension and the Terra station is actually broadcasting and sending the transaction, the signed transaction to the blockchain, to the Terra ecosystem. So you have to connect it, the Terra station with the ledger and we'll click here, access with ledger. 
Now it will detect your wallet automatically and you can see this is my wallet. I have some Luna, I have some UST inside my wallet and congratulations guys. Now your Ledger device is connected to Terra Station wallet in your browser. Now on Miro protocol, I'll click here connect. So now on the Miro website, you'll just click here connect Terra Station ex extension and automatically it will detect that uh, it wants the website, the Miro protocol website, want to connect to your Tesla st station and we'll click here allow and now your wallet is connected with the Ledger device through the Terra station extension to Miro decentralized app and now you can trade stock, you can stake, you can add liquidity, mint, borrow, whatever you want, all the functions that you're familiar with and you like in Miro protocol, now you make it in a more secure way because the private key never touches the computer. It never touches the memory of the browser and the, the memory of the computer, but it's stored in a secure way here in the ledger. And that's how you level up your security. If you have significant amount in mirror token, in stocks, you have to use ledger. And again, if you don't know what it is, use my link by the ledger and help me to grow my channel. And for example, let's see how we can buy some Google stocks. All right. So let's buy Google stock in the amount of two dollars this is great because we can just use small amounts it's blockchain and the fee will be around half dollar i don't mind but i'm just gonna buy the google stock blah 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 i have read agree and now you can see that you have a prompt in your terra station extension and you can click deny or post so we approve it once in the terra station extension and now in the ledger itself because you need to confirm it in the ledger because the private key again inside the ledger you will see some kind of a chain id 3 columbus columbus 5 sorry this is the chain that we're interacting with you click the button all the way until you go all the way right until you find this kind of menu that's called approve and reject you can see right now approve or reject this is basically the ledger asks you if you want to approve the transaction and send it to the blockchain through the trail station or reject. We're going to click the two buttons in order to approve the transaction. And now the transaction has been sent to the blockchain. It has been broadcast test and it's completed guys. Now we have also we have some USD and we have some M Google stock in the amount of two UST. So this is how you level up your security and you have to do it if you have significant amount of crypto, more than $5,000, $10,000. It's a no question. It's a it's no brainer not to do it. OK, so this is the tutorial. I hope it was uh, helpful and it will help you to secure your fronts. And if you like my content again, subscribe, smash the like button. And of course, if you have any questions, ask them here in the comments and I will answer to any questions that you have. I always like to talk and to help my audience to solve their problems. So ask all the questions in the comments below. And thanks again, once again, for joining me, for learning with me about DeFi, about Terra, about BSC scan, Polygon, all these kind of cool things. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next guide. Bye bye.